Frank Summer and her mother were at the best place around. In the sky, smoke on the water. No idea what the name of this program is, but you're watching it. Backstage. All you ever want. Backstage. All you ever need. Backstage. Your dreams will be fulfilled once you are there. You'll never want to leave. You want to sell your ass for that backstage pass. Darlings, welcome to another edition of Backstage International. And I have to say, today, oh my God, it's something very, very special. It's an absolute world premiere. For the first time ever, in front of a camera, the three toilet toys. Yeah, it's me. Oh, darlings. Here. Yeah, yeah. We're in the darlings. rainforest. We're in the rainforest. No, we're not in the darlings. rainforest. The rainforest is. We are near a sea of water. Yes. Yeah. Okay. A water. A water. May I introduce to you Dr. Dr. Dolitzai, uh, also known as the Machine, uh, <laughs> <laughs> because he is soon to be a student of the University of Vienna for sports, but he is already has several records in powerlifting, um, especially <laughs> here yet. on this island. No, but I mean, yeah, uh, he's, he's uh, the fitness, uh, the, the, the health, the whatever. Uh, guru. He is health. He I is health a, himself. I am health. He is health. And this is Dr. Uh, uh, Benjamin Leon Dolezai, um, who is my co-producer on several productions already. And why do you work with me? Because Mostly I pay for the you. financial aid, yes. Exactly. <laughs> no, um, well, we thought, because we are researching uh, two projects here, and we might talk a little bit about it, we wanted to have a sort of funny beginning. One project is uh, an underwater project for which we did some research, and the other one is for a rainforest uh, a project where we try to make people aware what we should keep. Let's start with the rainforest, Ruby. Uh, we've been there in a, in a long expedition. What are your impressions? We've been in the rainforest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Darlings. Darlings, we've been in the rainforest. No, it was incredible. Yeah. We started at the top of the forest or at the top of the mountain, mm -hmm. where there was everything was just foggy and you could hardly see anything. We it just saw a few. Cold. Yeah, very cold as well and windy. We just saw a few trees. Some pretty nice very extraordinary trees but then as we started going 
downwards, like down the mountain. Into the rainforest. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. We started in like the main old part of the rainforest where everything was green, everything was very yeah, fully just completely grown out, only green everywhere and very old old trees that, that have been there for centuries. And all the trees you have outside are also green, yeah, exactly because yeah, because the moss it's moss and everything. And the trees produce water. Yeah. Please tell us. Because of a special kind of wind, mm -hmm. we were told that goes up the mountain, the water Con 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 condensates, condensation. condensates yeah. and then you can have rain inside the rainforest while it's sunny and 30 degrees outside. Mm -hmm. And there's the actually rainforest. water coming out of a tree, right? Yeah, yeah we, we have a photo. That as well. We, we have a photo. photo. Or maybe we show the photo. Yeah. There are several photos, maybe. including those two gentlemen and myself. Yeah. <laughs> Very. And uh, there's also some more impressions of the rainforest. Uh, we filmed some excerpts. Let us have a look and show our, our viewers how it looks with, with some of the pictures that yeah. we took, okay? Uh, agreed? Sure. I'm only one third, you know, democracy is usually against me, but here we have, oh, we agree on something. Everyone yeah. in favor, say aye. 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 Okay. Here are the pictures. Video. Und jetzt klettern wir, oder? Die Stille. Vani, Dali. We're here in the rainforest. Vani, uh, where are we? <laughs> we are walking for six hours, no water and no food. I have some doubt. I don't know. We are going to die. Uh, no, no, no. Yet, yet. Morir, no. Today, no. No. Okay. It's verboten. Verboten. Okay. Yeah, and Enjoy. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we are on the way of for an exposition for the water project. Uh, I'm welcoming uh, Jake. Hi, Jake. Hello. Uh, he worked with famous uh, award-winning uh, directors. Here is the diver himself, Mr. Rescue Diver Benjamin uh, Leon. And of course, we have the beautiful um, Help Me Felicity, yeah. who is going to be our guide. We are trying to find a place underwater that nowhere has ever, nobody has ever been diving. So stay tuned and love and respect. The, the absolute um, maximum limit on this is 21, but we'll probably slightly higher. Beautiful, when you are ready. <laughs> Was hast du gesehen? Eine Morine. Ja. Ganz viele kleine Krebse. Ja. Eine Schlange. Ja. Und einen großen Schwarm Fische. 
der rundherum und zwar. Super. So, after the, this dive, how was it? Wonderful. Wonderful, how was it? Great. Great. Towards the end it got a little bit cold, but... Yeah. So, in the photos you just saw, you could clearly see the vegetation changing dependent on the, the sea level. Like how, how, how high you were, how low you were. You could, like every like 50 meters or something, you can see the, not 50 meters, that's under exaggerated. But you could see the vegetation changing, like from the leaves, from the, from the trees, from everything. It's extraordinary. It was really amazing to see, like all the way up high, it was almost like plants you would only see in a desert, mm -hmm. some, to some sort, and getting a bit far, like a hundred meters downwards. It was like in an Amazon jungle, yeah. just completely crazy plants that you've never seen before. Mm -hmm. Then a few hundred meters further downwards, it was almost like you're in the Wienerwald in yeah. Austria. Mm -hmm. And then even further down, it changed again. And this, it's like you're in Brazil yeah. at or like just only ferns everywhere. Brazil is a good, a good word. You know that in Brazil, rainforest is killed every day of a, a, a handful, at least, of football fields. Yeah, I've done with Sting way back in the 90s a, a, a initiative to save the rainforest, and we were going around Europe with a few Amazon. At the time, we called them Indians, but Indians, but the indigenous people of, of the Amazon tribes, mm -hmm. to tell everybody how important it is. This is the lung of our planet. It's so much oxygen produced, and this is now we, we started funny, but this is kind of we are serious about this, you know. Um, and therefore, I was also impressed by the quietness, you know, where you get. You're in the middle of nature. Nature is the superstar in that moment. And just shut up and maybe even close your eyes and be a part of that. And you feel why we should keep this. Why it's an, it's an offense to kill all those plants, uh, I mean, all those uh, animals who cannot live there anymore because we take away the, the, the living part which they used to. Now, we also had a second uh, interesting expedition where Mr. Benjamin uh, Dolet, sorry, he, in, 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 uh, he's, he's already rescue diver and on the way to become a master scuba diver. Mm -hmm. We were going underwater. How was that then? Extraordinary. We were um, going out on a boat first. Uh, the first dive was near a, a cliff. It was truly amazing. The visibility and the, the wildlife underwater was just mesmerizing, I would say. It was amazing, yeah. We saw some crabs. <laughs> no, we saw, we saw quite a lot of interesting <laughs> stuff, but again, uh, it's, at that time it was not so much how much we, we saw, but we, I mean, they're both good divers, I have to say. I'm doing this for many years, uh, but, but I'm very happy that they're both very, uh, very good in the water, from the breathing uh, on. But what is important is, we as divers, for 25 plus years, we see underwater, you know, the nature dying. I was going back to places like the Great Barrier Reef and had photographs from like 10 years before and through Naninjo and, and the global warming and all that shit, the corals were gone. They were dead and they're not coming back in, in 100 years if the climate would change, which it doesn't. So again, the underwater project is to make people aware um, what... Uh, uh, we also made some fun on the boat and this and that, but actually, again, I think always it, it's like underwater meditation sometimes. Yes, when, it, when is, it is truly amazing. Beautiful. You are completely alone with your thoughts. I find it so peaceful to just be with yourself and just think once in a while. Listen to your body, listen to yourself. It's truly amazing. How was it for you, Ruby? It was great. It was the first time I was diving in, I think, about seven years. or eight yeah. years. And it was really a great experience, just being under, underwater, hearing almost nothing, just moving with your breathing up and down and just looking at nature. I always feel if you have, if you're not diving, you're not going underwater, you haven't seen an important part of this earth. I mean, apart from the fact that most of our earth is underwater, it's also, you know, the forms, the colors, the animals, the, 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 the vegetation, so to say, it's just amazing. 
go there, try it, and then think what we should do in our everyday life to keep all this beautiful planet at least as good as we can. Darlings, what is your message for people who say there is no climate change? <laughs> there you, should is. Go, you should go educate yourself. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Education is very important and that's all I have to say. Yeah. Um, and how, how difficult is it to be my sons? Very difficult. I know. Very, very difficult. Yeah. Okay. At times it can be... Uh, very difficult. Let's leave it. No, you can you can go. You can say anything you want. Yeah, on a micro. Yeah, on a micro. No, it's great. It's probably not easy, but I have to say I'm very proud of those two guys, each for uh, you know for his own reasons, and um, I'm also very proud of what they're doing. And hopefully, we do some more things together. The Dorlet Arts is the working title. <laughs> We can tease a little bit. Yeah, teaser but, trailer. Yeah, teaser trailer. trailer. You teaser like trailer. the teaser Well, actually, your friend of yours likes yes, the teaser trailer. You, do you know what teaser trailer is? Okay, uh, well, I did. I started it in, the, in, in America uh, as a trailer for my Sunday streaming. And then at the time, I was doing one on the toilet, one while I was shaving, uh, when I was sleep, uh, so pretending getting up. And basically, always play the disturbed, annoyed Rudy Dorlitzai, whose team says, I have to do a teaser or a trailer, and then I, I say certain words. And there is obviously fans of that I cannot understand because I stopped it because I think it's too ridiculous, right? I agree. No. It's actually I fucking I, ridiculous. I completely disagree. Okay, well, this is great. I think this is great. I, they have different opinions. Please, please, you say. I think it's very funny. You, he thinks it's the best thing I'm doing. Yeah, it's the best thing, huh. and also my... Well, no Whitney Houston, no Rolling Stones, no, the teaser, teaser trailer. trailer. That's it's cool, then. See, this is and my situation. You understand me now? You know? <laughs> no, especially for my friend Momo from my YouTube channel. Yeah, which I is called? With. Momo and Ruby. Momo and Ruby. If you haven't subscribed to this YouTube channel, I'm See. really cross with you. I come home and I tell you to do it. I show you how to do it, okay? Yeah, and he... He all, for months he's been telling me where are the teaser trailers. Why isn't it's your dad not doing really. teaser trailers anymore? No, it's not. It's it's just an amazing experience to look at your phone and see the teaser trailer, and then you're excited for the next episode <laughs> Rudy backstage. It's he has a different opinion. No, no, please tell it. It's interesting because it's in the middle. I am, you know, it's and that it's not a wrong or right. It's a different matter of taste. Or what do you think? You think I shouldn't do this, right? I think you're making a mockery of yourself. Personally. You think you think I'm 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 making I'm being ridiculous. A tad bit. I mean, a, a bit of ridiculous. See, that's word is always. Good, but I was but born ridiculous. Yeah, we know. It's my my second him. name is ridiculous. It's part <laughs> of Rudy. <laughs> Man, no, but please. <laughs> no, I mean, and it's it's a it's a serious point you have to make, and I don't want to make fun of it no. because I, I respect this as well. So why do you think is I shouldn't do it? I think it's I'm not sure it's too too uncool. No, I have a feeling you're making a mockery of yourself. You're underselling yourself pretty much. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm actually I should be more expensive, huh? Yeah. Well, anyway, this is a T-shirt that Benny brought. We are going to change it because I'm first I'm not sixty, I'm sixty-five. Yeah. And it shouldn't and say I'm I'm not sixty, I'm eighteen with forty two years he of doesn't experience. Like the doesn't like the relation of numbers. No. So yes. First of all I can't remember numbers. But you have to um, you have to hire a mathematician mm -hmm. to properly design the T shirt. Can you help me on that? I should sure yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, what do you think? It's good, but the numbers are just unreal. The numbers are just wrong, you know? It's, okay. <laughs> sixty is not a number. <laughs> no, change my mind. Just as <laughs> six, eleven o'clock is not a it's eleven not a time. is not is not a time. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Now exactly. you don't understand what we're talking. But while we were here doing working on those projects, we we developed he, a certain yeah. kind of humor. He made a very brave statement a couple nights ago. We were exactly. eating, and he said, uh, in some context, "Well, no, eleven is not a is not a is not a time, which is obviously which very, I meant is not a time to go to bed. But and then, but it's a very very a very statement. risky and very broad statement to say to assume that eleven is not eleven time. is not a time is eleven can, you, da, 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 da. eleven is a song. 
It's not a time. It's a song by the world-class band Opus. We can show the video. No. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 11 sure is a time. It's a time. Well, first of all, in my they're, opinion, they're always right. But they are different opinions. Number two, they are two and I'm only one. The so I'm always losing. Yeah? And a little bit, it shows to you dads at home, you know, who are, when the young people in the, of the age of 16, 15, 14 come and want things, and you and your, your wife, so the, the two parents say, no, you know? And then, now you see how, how one feels if, if the two roles people... Are reversed. Yeah, exactly. If the roles are reversed. So I'm usually confronted with no. Sorry, Dad, that's not possible. That's my life, you know? No. Um, um, he's also the biggest toilet side already. Exactly. Yeah? Which gives so, me authority. Yeah. <laughs> and exactly. That is how it works in the court of toilet sides. <laughs> it is decided by height. <laughs> exactly. So, uh, soon he will be... Uh, 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 taller than me, so I'll be the smallest, the, 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 the <laughs> unimportant, most unimportant toilet side there is, because there's only three of us left. Oh, uh, uh, like a <laughs> See you. Okay, well, he, he, this is Hugo, he will, he, he's <laughs> living with us. Uh, uh, there's also a few spiders and a few crocodiles, but, you know, that would say too much where we are. We are in a secret place. Darlings, last word, do you have any message to the millions of people who are watching this? Save the planet and, and love and respect. That's actually my sentence. Not anymore. You Not anymore. Okay, okay. May I say it also? No. No. I, no See? I, I, I ask the tallest all the time. I give him permission to say okay, I'm good. sorry. Say Darlings, no. it was partly fun. It was part. It's uh, it's really my the sunshine of my life. Yeah. Uh, everybody who knows me knows that my sons are the most important thing in my life, uh, and I'm very very proud of them and they're going their own ways and sometimes if we cross like this we can have a great time and we can also move things fitness sports environment planet you know you got it love and, and respect, respect. <laughs> you want to know what goes on backstage let me take you by the hand. Ow! Rudy, are you ready? Ladies and gentlemen! The way I see it, Barry, this should be a very dynamite show. You know, I have no idea what the name of this program is, but you're watching it. Backstage. All you ever want. Backstage. All you ever need. Backstage. Your dreams will be fulfilled once you are there. You'll never want to leave. You want to sell your ass for that backstage pass. Backstage is just for the invited. Backstage. They've laid on everything. Once you were there, you never wanna 